We have come here to Venezuela to study the internationally recognized musical project El Sistema, spending six weeks learning as much as we can about this unique provision for all young people. It has been established to bring about social transformation for them and their families through the playing of classical music in orchestras. This is a project that fights against poverty because a child who is materially poor becomes spiritually rich through music. And once the child has been enriched by music spiritually, he's well prepared to go on and succeed in society. Caracas is a city of great contrasts. There are very many poor people living in the barrios or shanty towns which surround the city and can also be found throughout the country. It is here in the many centers based among the homes of the poorest families where the most wonderful musical life can be found. Our visit began at a concert by the now famous Simon Bolivar Orchestra in the city's modern concert hall. We were overwhelmed by the standard of performance and rapt attention of the audience, largely made up from children brought along from the centres. This orchestra is the outcome of over 30 years' work by El Sistema. The centres are havens of musical life, where children from as young as three years old come every day to play and make music together. So they come here to learn more how to relate each other. Believe it or not, it's pretty difficult for this kind of kids to, to understand how you should be behaving with another guy. And, and we use the orchestra to teach them uh, like community goals. Like as a group, you can reach better and more things than as individuals. The carefully devised program of learning is demanding but great fun. There is an atmosphere of excitement and commitment as the students take part in the musical activities, games, choirs, theory, individual instrumental lessons, sectionals and of course the full orchestral rehearsals. Break time is important too. Many of the students come from very disadvantaged and dysfunctional backgrounds, but once inside their centre, they have a purpose and focus in an environment where they feel secure. We, we are not expect, expecting them to be great musicians. If I have a nuclear with 10,000 kids and just one become musician, it's a mission accomplished. Yes. Yes. Barquisimato Centre is becoming a beacon for its groundbreaking special needs work. Students with a range of disabilities have access to and enjoy many instrumental groups. The highlight possibly for us was a performance by the White Hands Choir made up of hearing impaired children expressing the music sung by a choir of the able-bodied and disabled. As Raphael has said, the intention is not to discover musical talent, but every opportunity is given to students to develop their skills. We weren't that normal, we weren't very stable, always moving around a lot due to economic problems. Finally we stayed put in one place, and that is where I found the orchestra and my friends. There aren't many opportunities except the orchestra. My family was always a bit controversial, always involved in certain things. This is what made me sign up to the orchestra, and it is what made me progress. Young students act as mentors in rehearsals and lessons, and we saw many very successfully directing groups, even from the age of 11. I was always asking the director questions about the music. I learned everything very quickly, so I started helping the young ones very soon. I was very determined, thanks to the help of the director and the teachers. I always wanted to learn more in advance as quickly as possible. 
I play in the viola section of the youth orchestra of Chacao and also direct the infantile orchestra in Saria, Caracas. It is in one of the slums where the kids have been treated badly. It is a very difficult centre with mothers who are prostitutes and parents who are thieves, but the kids have a lot of love, affection and humour. I have many opportunities to teach and conduct. When I am older, I have political ambitions and aspirations. Performance plays a huge role in the building of self-esteem for these children. Every opportunity is taken for groups to give formal and informal concerts in the centres, schools, community and public concert venues. I think the, uh, the most significant thing about this project is how they've sustained it over 30 years and built it to such a size with well over 300,000 children involved. Um, and many of the families from the very poorest parts of, of the country um, gaining this amazing experience of, of playing in orchestras um, and learning about music, learning how to socialise with each other, how to make friends and how to be disciplined in an orchestra and, and realise how some people have to listen to others and some people have to play. It's just, it's just amazing and the sheer joy of, of what they're doing. They're, they're obviously loving every minute of it. We're just, uh, you know, right here now, we're, we're just so excited about it. Can't wait to get back home. Uh, and from what we've learnt here is to apply these techniques back home with the children there, um, access the poorest families, give them the real opportunity. I, I think it's going to be life-changing for them and for us. Can't wait. Thank you.